Hi there, it's Nicole for Lawn Fawn, and today I have a card featuring the new So Jelly stamp set. It's a little mini stamp set, as well as the new Ocean Wave Borders dies. I've created a square shaker card today, and to start, I am stamping the jellyfish on some watercolor cardstock. I also stamped the starfish. I originally thought I might be using a combination of jellyfish and star, uh, jellyfish and the starfish. But I decided to just go with the jellyfish here. I am using some of the Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers. They blend together for a really awesome watercolor look with or without the addition of water. I'm using three colors here for the pink on the jellyfish and they are all listed in the upper left corner of the screen. So it will would be easy to replicate if you like the colors I've used here. And then I've taken a dark purplish color here to color in the little spots on the jellyfish. I'm going to go ahead and cut the frame for the front of the shaker card using the two largest stitched square dies from the small stitched stackables collection from Lawn Fawn. This is going to give me that frame that is going to frame up the little water scene on my card. I'm also going to die cut the smallest of those two squares from some Simon Says Stamp Sea Glass cardstock. This will be the back portion. And then I will die cut another one of those squares from some Surf Blue uh, cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. This is going to be one of the waves. I will die cut a piece of vellum. This is going to be the other wave inside the scene or the shaker. And I'll die cut a transparency using the largest of those two squares. And that is going to hold in my shaker material. I also die cut a white square that is going to be the backer for the shaker. And I'll talk a little bit about that when I put the whole thing together. Now from the surf blue square, I'm going to tape one of those ocean wave borders in place with a little post-it tape and run it through my Big Shot die cutting machine. I am placing the waves pretty high up on those squares because most of this scene is water. Very little of it is going to be uh, blue sky. That's just that lighter blue color there. And then with the vellum, I'm going to lay that so I can kind of see where I want it to go and I'm going to use Use the post-it tape to hold that in place and run it through the Big Shot. I'm using a black Sakura gel pen to add definition to the eyes on the jellyfish. I set those over to the side while that dries a little bit. Now I'm using the frame to line up the, um, line it up with my card base and adhere that square with the waves. The problem with that is the shaker is smaller than the size of the card and so that's why I had a backer and I kind of had to pull it apart when I was done because it's hard to line up the shaker then. So if you have a backer for your shaker it makes it much easier. I went ahead and adhered my jellyfish and then I am stamping a greeting from the So Jelly stamp set with white stays on right to the transparency. You need to use something like stays on with the transparency otherwise it will never dry and it will smear. This also works great for stamping on vellum. I'm stamping the bubbles from the So Jelly stamp set on the vellum. And because I'm already using that ink, I went ahead and used it for all of my bubble stamping, even though it wasn't really necessary for stamping on the cardstock. Just for consistency purposes, I went ahead and used it here. I'll go ahead and stamp that one more time. I'm done with my stays on ink, so I can set that to the side. I went ahead and added a third jellyfish. I originally had two, and when I was looking at it, I thought it really needed one more, so I'll, add, I'll go ahead and add definition to the eyes with my black gel pen. And then I'm gonna take some glossy accents and add those to those stamped bubbles to give them some subtle dimension and shine. I think they really add to the stamped bubble look there. I'm going to set that aside to dry for probably a good 30 minutes. I want those to be very dry before I go to finish the shaker and add my sequins inside the shaker. I don't want anything to be sticking to that glossy accents. So I'll go ahead and 
Here my frame to the transparency piece using some nice strong adhesive. I like the Glue Glider Pro Permatac. It works really well. It's a nice strong adhesive. Go ahead and set that aside for just a second and take the Wink of Stella clear glitter pin. And I'm going to add just a little touch of glitter to my jellyfish. I'm going to color in the little dots on each of those. Kind of subtle, but I always like adding a little Wink of Stella clear glitter brush pin to my projects like this. And then my jellyfish wasn't secured very well, so I'll go ahead and glue that a little bit better. I'm going to take some foam adhesive now and I'm doubling it up because I want it to be a little higher profile. So I'm cutting my strips in half to get the most from them and then doubling them up all the way around my frame, making sure that they butt up next to each other so that it gives a nice secure frame or well to hold my shaker material. In this instance, I'm going to be using some Pretty Pink Posh sequins. In aquamarine and sparkling clear, I'll add those here in just a minute once I get all my foam adhesive secured around my frame. I love this Scotch foam adhesive. It comes in a huge roll, but it lasts forever and you're able to get so much out of it. Now you can see there's a little space there. Because this is stuck to a transparency, it will kind of lift up a little bit. So I just lifted it up and moved it over so that it was secure and flush with that bottom piece. So go ahead and clean up my transparency. It picked up a little bit there, a little bit of lint. And then I filled it with those aquamarine and sparkling clear sequins you can see in both six millimeter and four millimeter sizes. Now this is where I needed to have adhered my square to the same size uh, as my shaker frame. So I am pulling it up and then I adhered that to my square Go ahead and take my square to my shaker and flip it over. That makes it so much more easy. And then I can place adhesive on the back of the shaker and adhere it to my white card base. So I'll kind of shake those around and get those moving and that will finish my card. Thanks for watching this video showcasing the brand new Lawn Fawn Sew Jelly Stamp Set and Dies and Ocean Wave Borders Dies. We'll catch you next time.